Hey YouTube, Mike that Tankless Guy here. How we all doing today? Hope we all had a safe and productive week. All right, today we're actually on a job with a Navion NPE 210A2 and we have to do the yearly service. This unit happens to be the first unit of the MPE model that I have installed um, through the business. So this unit basically has the cold water, the hot water, and the house has a separate recirculation line. So that means to service this unit, you're actually going to use the inside pump to flush the unit. And there is times that you set and then just sit back on a chair and let it circulate. All right? So what do we need to do? First thing we need to do is we need to take power off the unit for now. Just for now. All right? We're going to shut off the cold water. We're going to shut off the hot water. And we're going to shut off the recirculation. Now notice on this install, we put three valve kits. So we have the cold water, the hot water, and we put another red valve kit on the um, recirc line. All right, so now what we want to do is we want to remove the filter. Malion has two filters. They have one for the pump and one for the cold water inlet. So we want to get in there and remove this filter have a little bucket with you so that you can catch the water that's going to drain out of the heat exchanger or two but you want to remove this filter to clean it because there's debris that has gotten onto the filter and you want that to be nice and clean and then you're going to put it back in so here we got some water and this filter is really clean for one year. All right, so, so here's the filter. Now, opposed to other tankless companies, this filter is non-removable like I showed in other videos. So I have my trusty service kit. Just take a brush, brush it. I have a bucket of solution, put it in there. That solution kind of will like activate with anything that's on it clean off make sure that the o-ring is still on the filter once you get it nice and clean remember always have yourself a nice rag with you all right then you want to put the filter back in the unit because if you don't have the filter in water your solution is just going to pour out where with another company what you would do is take the filter out and just put the cap back in. All right, now you want to take out the filter that is under the pump. Again, take your little cup. We don't want to make too much of a mess. And again, this filter's got a little bit of debris on it. See the little particles in there? I actually got a helper today. My son is working the camera. Okay, here's the brush. Put it in the solution and brush it off. Back in the solution. And now it's nice and clean. Always check the O-ring and put that back in. So on this unit, you have two filters, one on the pump and one on the cold water inlet. And when you're making these filters back up, don't over tighten them. Just give them a little snug and that's it. Okay, now, what do you need to do? You need to remove your service cap for your recirc line. Remove the service cap for the hot line. Bucket of solution and two hoses. That's it. You put one hose on the circulation line and one hose 
on, I know my body's in the way, put one hose on the hot water line. Okay. Then you take your pliers and you turn on your service valves. One. And two. All right, your service valves are on. You're going to plug the unit back in. Now you want to get into the installer menu. Let the unit power back up. Now you want to hit the M and the back button. Okay, and you're going to get into installer menu. Hit OK. Back button. Okay, you're going to go to descale mode and hit OK. Then it says this mode requires specific activation from firm to the installer menu. Manual. Okay, you're going to go for, I'm going to do it for 20 minutes. Hit OK. And it's got to prime itself out. And it's now flowing. It's got to prime itself. And the timer is ticking off. It will say up uh, number six, the scale mode at the top. It's giving the time, and it says remaining pump run time. So let's see, we're gonna actually remove this front cover because there's other things that I have to do on this unit. that's what we're going to do. We're just going to sit here and wait. The pump is running. I can feel it. And what it's doing is it's circulating the water through the heat exchanger instead of having to use a pump in the bucket like on other units. So that's one of the good features about um, a Navion system. I'm working the internal external valve in the back. Make sure that's nice and free. Because you know you can set this for internal pump or external pump if you needed an external pump. And there's a valve in the bottom left hand corner <coughs> that you can open either at nine o'clock or six o'clock. So basically with this, we're not going to make this video 30 minutes long. With this, <clears throat> once the time runs out, you're done. You descaled it. Where with other tanklesses, you would have to then drain the system back down, remove their inlet filter, which is just the cap, and then put it back together, and then put it back in, then recharge the system. With this, 
you already cleaned the filter on the cold water and you cleaned the filter under the pump. <clears throat> so you don't need to do anything. All you need to do is to wait for it to time out, right? Right now it's right 16 minutes and 10, 9, 8, 7, 6 seconds. <clears throat> and so once it times out, I'm going to unplug it. I'm going to take off the hoses. I'm going to turn everything back on. Of course, shut off all the valves, put the caps back on, and I'm going to turn the cold water back on. I'm going to turn the recirc back on, and I'm going to turn the hot water back on. I'm going to plug it in and turn the unit on and go around the house with any tankless heater, no matter what it is. Once you're done descaling it, you need to go through the house and bleed out the hot water lines. Because for one, you're going to have some of the solution in there, and which has to come out. And if you don't have the luxury of having a relief valve piped outside, or which we do here, or it's an outside unit where you can just flush it on the ground, you, do, you still need to go in and flush out the faucets, just so that you get the descaler. Now we use FlowAid, and it is a, it's a non-hazardous chemical. You can use also descaled white vinegar, but, and everything, but it just gives that foamy water and it does give a little bit of an odor. So to, <clears throat> you know, enhance your, 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 your job to your customer, just go and flush out the system. Alrighty? So again, when I'm done here, we're gonna unplug it. We're gonna take off the two hoses, nice and neat. We're gonna put our caps back on. We're gonna shut off our valves. So we have a valve here on the Recirc, we got a valve on the hot, then we're going to turn our water back on, flush it all out, turn the system back on, reset all of your parameters if you have to, and they're back in hot water. All right, YouTube, um, my email will be in the description below. If you have a question, feel free to email me and um, I'll get back to you. All righty. You all be safe now, and I'll see you on the next video. Bye-bye now.